So I decided I want to go see a movie. Um, and again, I'm going to search uh, not using the input method, but directly. And I've un I understand the Bourne Legacy movie is Da Ying Chong Chong. So as I'm typing this, you'll see, whoops, I think it's ONG. Um, so great, I'm getting a notice. There, I didn't quite finish typing, and it's predicting that's what I'm looking for. And you see that I have uh, the Born Ultimatum, the Born Identity, and I'm going to click on one of these to show you what I see. Um, so this is a Chinese listing, and we've got the link to Doban and MTime and IMDB. And if I click into that, um, you see there's the Born Ultimatum, um, which is the older one. Uh, you got the link. I've also got a link to MTime. Um, but I think the latest one, which is Legacy, um, I think in, in China it's considered uh, 4. So I'm not even going to finish typing that. I'm just going to throw 4 in there to see if I get it. So yes, you see, and I'll show you another trick that we've got in the way our search works. But there's the Born Legacy 4, which would be the latest movie. Um, and it's uh, you know mapped directly from Born Legacy and the Pinyin, and you could also look at it on IMDb. Again, that's deep linking. So the MTime and the Duban do not have Android apps that we know of, so we were embedding the browser, whereas the preferred method would be to deep link into the application like you see here with IMDb. Um, now I mentioned a trick you could do. Um, I'm gonna look for another movie, but it's with this, uh, Pinion mapping where you can do just the initials. So I'm going to do Xi'an Mian. Whoops, let me type it correctly. Mian Hui Yi. And this is for uh, Total Recall. Um, so you see there's Total Recall um, right there. This is the original Schwarzenegger one. So I'm going to go back and look, see if I can find the 2012 one. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be this one. And yes, there's the, the latest one, Total Recall. Um, image is coming down a little bit slow. Um, and then you also see related apps. Um, they're not directly related to the movie, but it's trying to pull those up. Um, and again, you've got embedded browser as opposed to an app, um, but it is optimized. I think we're trying to do a transform to make that work better. I'm um, going to go back, but uh, what you can do, which I mentioned in terms of the trick, is if I do um, just the initials. So for that one, it would be Q, M, H, Y. So in different instances, that will work. So you see where we're doing, we call it multi-prefix, but it's taking the pinyin and mapping that to the title of this movie, which I understand is something that people do. Uh, in China maybe more frequently than they do in the United States. So it's a nice little trick um, and worth a try because it only took four characters. Um, as we mentioned, do more with less effort uh, if you just type four and get to your movie. Now what you also see with this Total Recall is Chinese Wikipedia, Fandango, IMDB, Netflix. So this is where we've taken Total Recall from the knowledge graph and understand that the Chinese version of the film is Xian Ming Hui Yi. Uh, but also, if I were to click on, say, Fandango, it's going to look for, um, looking for where I am, it's using my actual GPS. So, uh, and obviously for the United States, for Fandango. So it's made the connection that Total Recall is the movie, even though we selected it from a Chinese result. Um, so it's back to the knowledge graph where we have one ID um, for each entity, and then we uh, translate or map that across um, to different uh, titles. If we wanted to do just a straight Chinese movie, I'm going to switch to the, the input method Han John. Um, so here I am uh, looking for that one. And then you see here is a title. It's a title that's not available in the US that I know of. Um, I, IMDB does have a, a listing for it. So here you got, I think it's called Cold War. Um, and uh, there's the Doban listing for the movie, um, and we've mapped it to an IMDb listing as well. It tells us a little bit more about it and who's in it. So again, quick, fast access back and forth from what it is you're looking for.
Now say I just wanted to go see the movies, what's on nearby. I could just type movies. Um, when I do that, you obviously don't know that I'm looking just for location. So it's gonna show different applications. But then I also do get theaters close to where I am. So here's this mega box in Sanley Tune, uh, which is the cinema, which is right nearby um, to where I am at the time. So just showing the flexibility of the application to take in a robust way what it is you're looking for and providing uh, relevant things you can do.